We're making lima beans, and I'll be honest, this one is a labor of love, so let's get into it. The night before, you want to start by taking a pound of dried baby lima beans, or you can use the big ones, it's really up to you, and you're going to submerge them completely in water and just let them sit. The next morning, you're going to drain them from any excess water that might be left over, and you're going to remove any of them that look a little bit wonky. For the flavor, we're going to be using turkey drumsticks. They're about the size of my hand, so I'm going in with two. You also need half of a yellow onion, or you can use one small diced yellow onion. And you're going to need some seasonings. Like always, it'll be down in the description box below. Now let's get started. So to a pot that's on medium heat, you're going to add those drumsticks right on in along with that onion. Make sure you get all of it because we need all that flavor. And you're going to take those seasonings and pour it right in. Again, it'll be down in the description box below. So to that, you're going to add enough water to completely cover your drumsticks. This is about 8 to 10 cups of water. Once it's covered, you're going to put a lid on it, let it cook on medium heat, after about an hour yes an hour of letting that meat cook and tenderize you're going to give it a good mix and you're going to taste the broth throughout this process you will taste as you go see if you like the flavor if you do you're good if not add a little bit of whatever you feel is missing in my case it was salt i only did a little because you're going to taste throughout the process okay once you're satisfied with the flavor, you're going to dump those lima beans right on into that pot and you're going to give it a good mix. Now at this point, we are going to cook our lima beans for a total of two hours on medium low heat covered. But after that first hour, we're going to remove those turkey legs from the beans. So yes, if you guess that we're going to shred it, you are correct. We're going to remove some of that meat from that bone and add it right back into those beans because why not? You want to taste some meat in your beans, right? So while we are doing that, we're just going to add a little bit of water to it because I noticed that it was getting a little low. What you don't want is for your beans to stick to the bottom of your pan. So make sure you're monitoring your liquid in your beans, okay? So now we're just going to go ahead and shred that meat as much or as little of it as you want from that bone. It's truly up to you. I like to go in with almost all of it. And once it's shredded, I take it and I dump everything right back into the pot. Yes, the bones and all. The bone to me has a lot of that flavor. So we're just going to dump it all right back in. You're going to give that a good mix, making sure that that meat is incorporated all throughout. And then you're going to take that lid and add it right back to the top. After allowing your beans to cook for that last hour of the two hours, I just added in about a tablespoon of butter because why not? And I served it up with some white rice because I just feel like, you know, growing up in the South, everything needs rice. So I served my beans over some rice and I enjoyed it. Today was a rainy day, so this was the perfect meal for the day. But I'll see you all in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.